Hi angels! Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. I know it's been a little while since I have posted and I just want to say hi. <laughs> I am back and today I am bringing you a current household of my Ortega family. Alright angels, so welcome back. This right here is my current household um, that I have been playing for maybe the last week. And this sim right here is none other than Frank himself. Um, Mr. Frank Ortega. Mr. Frank Ortega is the patriarch, essentially, of this family. Um, if you're familiar with Shameless, this is kind of where this video is birth and kind of comes from. Um, and this idea was really sparked by, um, Ocean Sims. Ocean Sims had a, um, broadcast or, like, a live stream the other day on YouTube where she created, like, her character. Um, and essentially her character was based off of Fiona from Shameless and so I was like ooh like I've never really played with a very um, kind of gritty story dynamic and so I wanted to try it out and see how I liked it currently here having him a drink as usual um, he is a little tipsy because he's already been drinking and stuff today and you know but how we learn and stuff from him is that he really just, he likes what he's doing and he doesn't kind of plan on stopping. Um, and this right here are the other Sims. I'm actually going to get Mr. Elias here to go ahead and call everyone to the meal. As you can see, um, everyone's kind of household funds they have $30 to their name and it literally took $25 to make this fettuccine alfredo for everyone um and it's because you know these sims are very they live like below the poverty line and all of them are working right all of them are kind of chipping in so for some of the characters what I did is I um, Cape gave them the same name of the characters that they're based on. So, of course, this, she's based on Fiona Gallagher. Um, and she actually works part-time at a retail store. And that is how she kind of makes her money. But she was just asleep in the intro, as y'all can kind of see. Because she has a lot, she has a lot going on, you know. Um, but they usually eat kind of family dinner here at this table. Um, and I will go ahead and kind of introduce you to everyone. It seems like everyone is kind of upset right now based off one thing or another. Oh, that was cute. Um, <laughs> Frank is over here flirty and just having a great old time. Um, he is currently drunk, right? And that's kind of a normal, a normal thing for Frank to kind of feel. I don't know why Miss um, Lady here is with no clothes, but let's change that really quickly. There are currently seven Sims in this house, including Frank and his six children. Um, and <laughs> boy, do I have some tea for y'all. Um, so this right here is, is Frank. Um, and he is essentially, again, the patriarch of the family. Um, he currently has a relationship with Miss Celine here. Um, and Miss Celine is, she met him when he was vacationing, essentially, in uh, Moonwood Mill. And I use vacationing, vacation very, very loosely. Um, Frank had just ended up kind of wandering over, over there. And so, you know, one thing led to another and him and Celine started a romantic relationship. And so that is that. Um, but right now, as you can see from the family panel, um, he does not have the best relationship with his kids at all, except for Liam. 
and um Adriana everyone else so the older kids he just does not have a relationship with and with Fiona actually it's very much like touch and go um they don't really have a really good dynamic so as you can see he's distant from literally everyone and he's not home all the time um he is usually frequent at bars and stuff and this is usually his general mood he's literally always 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 drunk um and these are his he's his skills actually um and if we look here these are his traits so he's lazy clumsy slob and he doesn't want children anymore um and then he has a very weak immune system but through all of this he's very um afraid of failure but as you can see he doesn't have a career he kind of just jumps from one place to another so frank is very much like in no direction like he doesn't know what he's doing with his life um, and then next, if we look here, this is based on Lip. Um, so Lip is a character, again, from Shameless. But in this case, my character's name um, is Elias. And Elias Ortega is the second oldest um, from Fiona. He's currently a young adult. He's already graduated. And he really doesn't know what he wants to do with his life. Um, but he currently works as a manual laborer um, because it's one of the, the careers that kind of gives him the most money. Um, he is thinking about possibly going to college. But like right now, it's just not feasible with his family's income. And he doesn't want to be paying back loans for the rest of his life. Um, but also kind of similar to what we were seeing with his father. He also has the lazy trait, but he would be happy to have a child right now. And he actually doesn't have any romantic relationships currently. So he's really just, you know, living. <laughs> um, and, and that essentially is Mr. Elias. Okay, so next is Miss um, Ileana Ortega. Miss Ileana is such a character, y'all. She has been getting in trouble at school. She is currently um, stated as a delinquent, and she actually has a court case coming up on Wednesday um, at 8 o'clock, and she has a public defender. So we will see how that goes. And the reason that she is <laughs> she's going to court because she decided to swipe something in her teacher's classroom um and she just got caught by her teacher she got caught essentially so she actually has a nervous um kind of mood like here and it says nervous wreck Ileana is dreading the hearing coming up it will decide her future the moment of fun definitely wasn't worth all of this and she is still so full of regret so as you can see our girl is definitely really going through it um she also has a fear of silence and like these are just some of her other kind of moonlets she's been feeling some kind of parental distress around frank and so she knows something isn't right with him but she is essentially you know there's nothing she can do about it um, right now. These are her grades. She's in the average range. Um, she has the maker aspiration. She's a quick learner and she also has ADHD. Um, and so essentially she has kind of trouble paying attention um, during her class periods and stuff. And so this leads to her um, not having the best grades because she doesn't have any formal supports in place at school because Mr. Mr. Frank here will not go to a parent teacher IEP meeting or 504 meeting because, well, that's her father. So she has definitely been going through some stuff that way. Um, and these are her relationships. So she knows Cody and essentially she wants to flirt <laughs> with Cody at school. And so this is Cody. Cody is one of her, um, kind of friends that she knows at school. He's also on the computer team, um, as well. And she has a little crush on him. And these are just the rest of her relationships. She actually fought this kid at school out of nowhere because he is a rival to her. And this is Tink um, Grunt. He's actually um, one of the sims that I made. And he lives in Strangerville. Um, his family actually just moved. And um, yeah, him and Ileana did not like each other from the start when he started school.
These are some other of her relationships, but essentially she's the closest to Anne because Anne is her age mate. So Anne is both a, um, a teen just like Illy. Next up we have Miss Adriana and I think she is literally the cutest. She is actually the youngest of the um, household and so essentially she and her dad are like really tight right. She's the only one that doesn't have a distant um, kind of place with him or a relationship moodlet and so you know, she kind of just takes it like a day at a time and she really doesn't see any fault with her dad because she is so young and she really hasn't been um, experienced to a lot of things. She has high confidence um, and she also has a normal immune system. The last of the Ortega family is Mr. Liam. He is the second youngest and I think he is so cute so cute um him and frank actually also kind of have a somewhat positive relationship um he is the one in the household that's really close to kind of all of his family members but he's specifically closer to um a lie they have a jokester um relationship and i think that's beautiful for him um, and so he is a genius. So he is getting very well in school. He's excellent. He is doing like absolutely amazing despite what's going on with his, his dad. Um, because Fiona always, always helps him with stuff. And last but not least, we have Mr. Ian himself. So Ian is the only redhead in the family. And again, he's based on Ian Gallagher from Shameless. Um, but his character traits are a little bit different. So similar to kind of what Ian was like in the show, he's really discovering his sexuality. Um, and he thinks he has a crush on this guy at school, but he's really not sure. And he has been kind of going through it when it comes to that. Um, and and to kind of add on that, he is a football player. And so because he lives in a very patriarchal, right, um, kind of society, just like we all do, he has some internalized kind of homophobia. And he's really trying to work through that for himself. He actually needs to go to sleep. <laughs> um, and... A friendly voice, right? So him and Fiona are literally like this. They are very, very, very close. Um, and he hates his dad. He hates his dad's guts and he wants nothing more than for Frank to like just leave and never come back um, because he feels like they will be better off. Um, and if we also look in his symbology panel, he is the social one of the household. So he has the most friends. Um, this is Hugo. So Hugo is another one of his friends. This is Savannah. Um, Savannah came with the high school years pack. She is also another one of his friends. And then we have Tank. And so Tank essentially is the, the guy that Ian has a crush on, but he's really trying to figure that out for himself and figuring out if if he can make a move on, on Tank or if it's going to work out. And this just also happens to be his sister's nemesis. So we will kind of see how that works out. Um, he has some other relationships from school. So we have Cody, we have um, Ellen, and we have Ariel. Um... But essentially, this is the Ortega family. So Frank is currently on the phone. Celine called him very frantically and was like, hey, um, I need to come over right, right, right now. And so Frank gave her a call and she should be popping up in a second. Look who's here. So Celine is here and she is not doing well. She looks like she is very upset. Um, so we are going to greet her and, um, what should we do? We're going to greet her and say, hey, like, ask her about her hobbies and skills. Like, what's going on? How are you doing? Um, we're also going to blow her a kiss just to kind of see what that's like. Why are y'all talking through the door? Y'all, only my sins. Because <laughs> why would they do that? And so they're just like chatting it up a little bit. He's like, oh, 
what are you doing here, Celine? Um, I went, I was going to see you later today. And she's like, no, I have something to tell you. And he's like, what do you have to tell me? Do you want to go upstairs? And, and she's like, um, no, Frank, like I have something very, very important. I need to tell you. And so if we look here at Celine's body, we will see that she has a pregnancy bump. Yep. Yep. She has a pregnancy bump. And essentially, that means that Frank has his seventh child on the way. So we are going to go to the relationship panel and we're going to ask her to do a paternity test. Like, um, I'm not too sure this kid is mine, right? So let's really talk about it. But first, we're going to ask her about her um, WTDs because we didn't actually talk to her about it before we engaged in what they engaged in. Um, and so it says she's clear of WTDs. And so we're going to kind of take her her word for it. Smoothly, Frank is experiencing an itching sensation around his... <coughs> Could that be something serious? Didn't she just say she was, like, clear of WTDs? Oh, my gosh. Now I'm crying. He's like, yeah, like, I just don't want this kid. Oh, he just got the worst news of his life. He's sobering up a little bit, so it's a little bit easier for him to really think about what's going on. It looks like Elias is going to talk to her. Um, and it also says something isn't right. So he sees what's going on with his dad and it's really tearing him to bits and pieces. Um, it looks like Miss, um, why is she asleep in her sister's bed? Isn't this her bed? Ileana is up here asleep. Um, this is actually her and her sister's bedroom. So this is Adriana's bed and this is her bed. Um, and they share this room. I just realized I did not give y'all a tour. Um, and then this is the boys' bedrooms. So this is where Liam sleeps. This is um, Anne's bed up here. And this down here is going to be Elias's bed. So they all kind of share this room. Um, and this last one is going to be um, Fiona's bed. So she kind of stays here and things like that. Um, so yeah, this is kind of an upstairs tour. And then they have a, a bathroom right here that they always fight in. <laughs> in the morning so it looks like everyone is kind of still oh not some negative negative relationship brewing do y'all not like her uh-huh <laughs> huh <laughs> okay so we are oh you can get fiona up for adoption she's a grown woman what <laughs> i don't think i've ever kind of seen that before everyone in this house has had one heck of a day and we just have to wait until the next part y'all enjoy this current household i really just enjoy playing around with this family and i look forward to hearing your thoughts and opinions down below if y'all like to see more of them please feel free to leave a comment and i will see you all in the next video Mwah. bye angels